The reason we initiated the Senior Physician Scientist program is we felt extremely fortunate to have great mentors as undergraduates, graduate students, and, and medical students, and then in fellowship. And it seemed like those things happened by accident rather than by design. And we thought by building that kind of structure where every student would get the chance to be paired with someone we knew would be a great mentor, it could only help them. The Physician Scientist Training Program is about training physician scientists, not about training physicians who are scientists. And so we really felt it was important for them to have mentoring directly from people who were successful at being physician scientists. We found that the senior physician scientist mentor has been one of the most critical mentors and the one person that a lot of the students really want to share their goals, their aspirations with and who they want to get advice from. This mentor is not their thesis advisor. I think it's really important to make that distinction. This is somebody who's actually assigned from the time you enter the program, they stay with you all the way through. They're volunteering. This is something that they want to do and they feel a responsibility. And even beyond that, they want to get to know our students. I think the major goal is to make sure that the students, the trainees, have an exposure to people who've gone through what they're going to go through in their career. One of the criteria for being a senior physician scientist advisor is you have to be an active physician scientist trying to have one foot in clinical care and another foot heavily into research that you have to have been a successful mentor yourself and to get to that point people have had to do well balancing all of these things. We talk to the student, determine what their interests are, short term and long term, and then pair them up with somebody who's successful at doing exactly what that student hopes to do in the future. So my mentor and I really talk about all aspects of life, both academic and personal. Also very helpful in um, letting me know people who I should be getting in touch with because I can learn different things from them. They don't have any personal stake in your project. They're just interested in hearing what you have to say and giving you advice on what you can do next. The senior physician scientist advisors can really, I think, help facilitate making good decisions at each of the transition points in medical and graduate education. First big transition is to go from uh, getting grades to starting to think and to do things independently and to have judgment. And I think actually that's a very difficult transition. Then ultimately, it's to help with making decisions about residency programs. Where are the really great places to go? Where are the places that really foster career development of physician scientists in the future? They can both give you guidance and allow you to contact people that are currently in residency. Most of us know the good programs in our area of interest and whether or not they'll be supportive of scientists. You know, sometimes a student will go meet with their SPS mentor and they'll say, you know, what I really want to do is something like this, but that's probably not possible because I haven't seen that. And the SPS mentor, in some cases, will say, whoa, that's totally possible. In fact, that's somebody we're trying to recruit right now. So I think it opens up some career possibilities that they weren't even thinking about, which is terrific. I think the other thing that it does is my SPS mentor has shown me a of how I can be a mentor in the future to future trainees, especially because I'm interested in staying in academic medicine and in doing that. I think my SPS mentor has, has been a role model for how I can act when I'm on the other side of the table, you know, a decade or two decades down the line. This is a very unique relationship that I have formed with this person because it is someone that is really there for my professional growth and my personal well-being as well. It brings one individual who's focus is you. So I think this is a very unique feature of our program and I'm not aware of another program that has a formal mentoring program like this one.